Hi, it's uh, February 16th and it is about 2.30 in the afternoon and the kitchen saga continues. I know, I'm sorry, I've been talking a lot about this kitchen but it's, it's uppermost on my mind and by far one of the biggest things we've ever done and we're now getting to the point where we're you know, we're at the point of no return here. We have to go forward. We cannot change our minds and go back. So it's both scary and exciting at the same time. But I thought I would give you a little tour of the kitchen. And you're more than welcome to follow along, but put your shoes on because nobody is allowed in our kitchen without shoes. I wrote a post, a couple of uh, articles down about how we took our tile up one Saturday and to say that was a project would be putting it mildly. It was a huge project and one that I can safely say that we will never do again on our own. It was it was unreal. <laughs> and we still are still dealing with the dust and things like that, which to me is the worst part is the dust. There's dust everywhere at every corner of this house. It's gonna take a long time for me to get caught up on that because every time we work in the kitchen we stir up more dust and wow but anyway so we've got the tile up and we have the back of board still down but as you can see it's really in bad shape Kevin thought we could probably salvage it so we went and looked at tile yesterday and uh, we found some tile that we really liked at this tile company and the guy came out to measure our kitchen. And when he came out and we said something about trying to salvage the backer board, he just laughed. <laughs> so I'm taking that to mean that's not a good sign. And he said, no, there's no way we could salvage your backer board. It's going to have to be replaced. So after getting the quotes and, you know, being surprised that it was so much, though I, I don't know why we were, uh, we decided to go ahead and try to get this backer board up ourselves to save us some money. So that's our current project right now. And um, I'll just take you through here. That's what Kevin did last night. He and the boys got some drills and uh, they went through and tried to pick up some of the screws on the backer board. The problem with that is they're stripped out. So uh, this, the drills are not working. They're just they're just spinning. So Kevin had to use a roto zip with one of those metal wheels, and he's having to cut grooves into the screws so that the, the uh, drills can grab on to it and take the screws out. Yeah, it's a process. But luckily, we have until next Monday to get this out because that's when our tile guy, guy is supposed to get in here. However. Our cabinets are due to arrive today, between 3 and 7 today. That's their projected delivery time, but you and I both know how that goes. So most likely our cabinets will get here about 8.30. So then the cabinet guy is supposed to come out and take a look at the cabinets to make sure they're what they're supposed to be, they're in good shape, blah, blah, blah. And then he's going to start demoing. I have no idea when that's going to actually occur but all of this needs to be out of here by Monday so our tile guy can put tile down because we've decided to go ahead and lay tile from wall to wall. That way, if there's any leaks, it won't rot our floor out. And everybody we've talked to said that's just the better way to go. It's cheaper for the tile guys so they don't have to do a lot of cutting and yada, yada, yada. So, I'm a little nervous on this timeline even though I understand that things happen and we can reschedule. You know, we're really wanting to get this done because being without a kitchen or having to work in these kind of conditions and pretty much eat tile dust every day um, is not fun. <laughs> so I'm really hoping this can all come together fairly quickly. So that's where we are on the kitchen project right now.